Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to this video. Do you want to know how to install the Zigbee to MQTT and Mosquito Broker integrations into Home Assistant? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mosquito Broker and also Zigbee to MQTT so that you can use it to connect to your SM Lite Zigbee coordinator. So if you've already installed it before or you've not had much luck, well, the Zigbee to MQTT has recently had an update into version 2 and some people have had trouble getting this to work and so did I as well. I managed to get it working with my SM Lite Zigbee coordinator. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Mosquito Broker and also the Zigbee to MQTT version 2.1. So keep watching this video and we'll get right to it now. So here we are in Home Assistant and as you can see I'm at the overview or the dashboard. Before you get started make sure that you've already installed and you have set up your SM Lite Zigbee coordinator. So make sure that that's powered on, started up. You should then go to settings and if you select devices and services you should see that the SM Lite SLZB has appeared in the list of integrations. If it hasn't, when you've already started Home Assistant, you should get a pop-up message saying that it's detected the device and do you want to configure it. So just proceed with the configuration of the SM Lite so that it appears in your list of integrations. Now, I do have other videos on my channel about adding the SM Lite into Home Assistant, so take a look at that if you want more information about that. So let's get started and install Zigbee to MQTT and the Mosquito Broker. So to do this, what we're going to do is go back to settings and then we're going to select from the menu that appears add-ons. Then with the add-on screen, you'll see at the bottom right corner, we've got an add-on store. Select this and then in the search box, what we're going to do is type in MQTT and you will see that this has now appeared with Mosquito Broker. So what you need to do is select Mosquito Broker, then with the screen for Mosquito Broker and MQTT, select the install option. This will then automatically install MQTT into Home Assistant. Now once it's installed, you should see MQTT and start on boot and watchdog options and also a start button. So what we're going to do is make sure that the start on boot is enabled. So it should have the blue slider. And what we're going to do is select watchdog. So select the slider to turn that blue. And then once you've done that, you can click start. This will then proceed to start Mosquito Broker MQTT. As you'll see, we've now got a green arrow saying that the add-on is running. Then what we need to do is restart your Home Assistant server. So to do this, go to settings at the left side menu. Then in the top right corner, select the three dots and select restart Home Assistant. Then with the restart Home Assistant pop-up window, select again restart Home Assistant. And then with the Home Assistant final message, this will interrupt all running automations and script. Select restart and then wait for your Home Assistant to restart and log you back in automatically. Should do and take you back into the settings page. And then what you need to do is select the add ons option. And then in the add ons screen, you should see get hacks. If you've already followed my previous video about installing hacks and you should also see mosquito broker and it should have a blue and orange icon in the box as you can see i've got file editor but you may not see that in this video you should see mosquito broker so then what you need to do is select the add-on store button at the bottom right corner then what you need to do from the top right corner is select the three dots then select repositories from the pop-up menu and then this should say manage add-on repositories in the pop-up window that appears in the center of your screen. Now you should already have hacks add-on repository in there but what we're going to do is add another repository so that we can get Zigbee to MQTT. So in the add line what you need to do is paste in 
the link that I've posted on the description for this video. So like with the hacks link, what I've also left in the video description, there's also one for Zigbee to MQTT. So what you need to do is copy the line that starts with HTTPS and copy all that line and then paste it into the add box here. So basically you should have the line that starts HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash Zigbee to MQTT and then forward slash ASIO hyphen Zigbee to MQTT. However, just paste it in, as I've said, from the video description. So once you've pasted that in here, all you need to do is click add and then you will now see that we've got manage add of repositories and we've got two repositories added in there one for hacks and one for home assistant zigbee to mqtt so once you have those two in there click close and then what we're going to do is press ctrl and f5 on our keyboard to refresh the add-on store then what we're going to do is select add-on store at the bottom right corner and then in the search box at the top, type in MQTT. Then you should see some search results and one of those should be Zigbee to MQTT. As you will see here, we've also got the same Zigbee to MQTT Edge and also Zigbee to MQTT Proxy. Now the one you need to select is just Zigbee to MQTT. So click on this, then this will take you into the Zigbee to MQTT screen and you should see a version number in this case it's version 2.1.1-1 so what you need to do is select the install button this will proceed to install zigbee to mqtt once it's done that you should see some options appear with the blue slider controls you should have start on boot and that should be enabled so make sure that's blue and also for watchdog click that to make it turn blue and also show in sidebar should also be blue but i would recommend leaving auto update turned off however if you want to allow automatic updates then you would just then also enable that option so once you've enabled those three options start on boot watchdog and show in sidebar what you need to do at the top is go to configuration this will take you into the zigbee to mqtt options configuration screen now what you need to do is make sure you have your SMLite Zigbee Coordinator web page open. As you will see, I've got it open in this tab here. And what you need to do is select Z2M and ZHA from the left side menu. Then this will take you in to the Zigbee to MQTT option here. If it's not, just click on Zigbee to MQTT. Then below that, you should see some text with starting pay attention and it should have information such as location, port TCP, board rate, adapter, Z stack, and so on. So what you need to do is highlight the text which starts with port. So from port all the way down to the end of Z stack. So you've got three lines of text highlighted. What you need to do is copy those three lines of text, go back to your home assistant web page, and then in the serial line, here where it says number one you need to click in there and then paste in those three lines of text so once you've pasted in the text what we need to do is line up the text so for line number two click just before where it says forward rate so the first b and hit your backspace key on your keyboard this will then line up the text to directly below the above line which starts with port so as you can see line three is still not lined up so what we need to do is click before the a and hit backspace and then it will line up all three lines of text so line one two and three are all directly lined up vertically now what we need to do is where it says port tcp and then colon forward slash forward slash so we've got zig one so sometimes the zigbee adapters cannot be detected and picked up properly with the name of the actual zigbee adapter so what you need to do is log in to your router on your network and find the ip address which your zigbee adapter is using and once you've done that make a note of it and then what we're going to do is remove the name of our zigbee adapter 
that's if you have a name of your Zigbee adapter in there. If you already have an IP address in there instead of a name, then that's fine. But in this case, I've got Zig1. So what I'm going to do is delete that Zig1 text and enter the IP address, which in this case is 192.168.1.202 for my network. So however, your IP address will not be the same, it's likely to be different. So make sure that you get the IP address correct for what is showing up in your router for your SM Lite Zigbee adapter. So for line one, you should now have port colon space TCP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of your SM Lite Zigbee coordinator. And then you should have another colon and then 6638. So once you've got those three lines all lined up and you've correctly entered the IP address for your SM Lite Zigbee adapter, you can then click save. You may have to click it twice. So if you do have to click it twice, then please do. Then what you need to do is go back to the info option at the top. And then what you can do is click on start. Once you've clicked on start, it should then start up your Zigbee to MQTT integration. So just wait a few seconds and then from the left hand side menu, you should now see Zigbee to MQTT. Click on this and it should then proceed to load your Zigbee to MQTT dashboard where it should detect all of your Zigbee devices. As you can see, I've already got six Zigbee devices in there, but if you don't have any, then all you would need to do is put your Zigbee device, so for example, your light bulb or your socket or your smart switches into pairing mode. So just put them into pairing mode by following the manufacturer's instructions. And then all you need to do is click permit join. So select this button and it should then proceed to start listing your Zigbee devices in this box here. As you can see, I've already got the devices listed in there. So that completes this video and in which we installed the Mosquito Broker and also the Zigbee to MQTT integration. Hope you found this video useful and hope you were able to easily follow this video. Thanks for watching and more videos coming soon. Take care. Bye for now.